Why in this phone, this man is talking to multiple women? Not one, not two, not three, not four. I believe it was five or six different women. And not only was he key, key, key with these women, he's getting money from these women. These women are taking him on dates. One woman was offering to move him in with her. And I'm just like, this fool was cheating on me. And I didn't even notice. This man is talking to one particular woman on the phone in the house while I'm in the house. You, you, cause I only want you. Basically June at this point, and I want to give you guys a life update. I haven't done a get ready with me in like a month, which to me is shocking because I could have swore I just did one recently, but apparently when I went and I looked back, it's been a while. So let me give you guys an update on what the kid has been doing, what's new with me. So let me let, let me let you know what I've been up to lately since my last vlog, my last get ready with me. Um, in my last vlog, we talked about um, my fast that I was doing during the month of May. So at the beginning of the month, I did make a monthly reset video talking about um, what my what I was hoping my May fast would look like and what and what I wanted to achieve. So today is currently May the twenty seventh, I think. Yes, Saturday, May the twenty seventh, and so far. I think my fast itself went well. The things that I wanted to abstain from went well. But as far as like my productivity level, I don't think it went up as much as I hoped for. The good news is I did not find a replacement for a TikTok. So I'm still heavily into my TikTok, which is a good thing. So that just means I didn't replace one bad habit with another. So the bad downside was I didn't really increase my productivity because my plan was to uh, do four long form videos um, a month on YouTube. And uh, for the month of May, my views have been going down. None of my long form videos have cracked 100, which is very unusual. But the numbers that I'm getting now are the numbers that I expected to see when I first started. So like, I'm bothered by it, but at the same time, I have to understand I'm still new to YouTubing, so I need to, you know, learn what the audience that YouTube is showing me to likes. So I've been doing, you know, my outfit videos. I have not been doing my vlogs or my get ready with me's. Those don't really do that well on my channel, which is okay, because I enjoy doing these kind of videos. Anyway, so I just tell myself, you know, eventually, hopefully these type of videos will find an audience that enjoys them, but I will still continue to do them because I enjoy them. So that's an update on my um, fast for as part as like, uh, fasting from like TikTok and whatnot. And I also want to make those four videos a week. I did not do that. I still continue to do just two uploads a week and then three shorts a day. And my channel is growing. It's just not growing as fast as I would want it to. So to me, that's just letting me know that I still haven't quite found the right content for the audience that engages with my channel. So for the month of June, I'm going to continue to be on my fast from TikTok. I'm not going to bring it back until I get monetized. So pray for me, please, because I miss TikTok. I miss scrolling. Y'all used to scroll a lot. Um, so for the month of June, I will still not be on TikTok. So hopefully I get monetized. I'm hoping to get monetized by the end of the year. So if I can't TikTok until December 31st, and that's just what it's going to have to be because I'm determined to make this outlet something that I can be more proud of. I'm proud of it now, but once it becomes monetized to me, that will basically mean that something that I'm passionate about and I enjoy doing actually makes money, like with my boutique business. Y'all know she's on her, her downturn right now, so on to her. 
my may has not been good to her whatsoever um unfortunately for her she has not made any sales this month despite my marketing tactics so to me that's the same like i need to get better at my marketing like the things i used to do my first year of business where i was successful are is no longer working i don't really know what happened um i used to make most of my money from it was two streams it was facebook and instagram ads and um my email and text marketing mainly my email marketing i used to make half of my revenue from that and half of my revenue from facebook ads the past going on two years neither stream has been profitable profitable for me in any type of capacity Oh, before I continue, I switched um, setting powders only because the two, the CoverGirl powder that I used, the Clean Professional one, for some reason, it was out at the Walmart I buy it from, and Target typically doesn't carry that one, but I went anyway to see if they had it by chance. All they have was a, CoverGirl has another loose powder that I don't like. It's very drying to me. So I'm trying this Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I feel like I've tried this powder before, but I cannot remember. So we're gonna try it today, and we're also using a new primer today as well. Normally I use the e.l.f. Power Grip, but as y'all can see, she's on her last leg. So this is the, um, the primer that I had mentioned in a, my last Get Ready With Me on my blog or whatever it was. Um, it's the L'Oreal Prime Lab Pore Minimizer. Now, I did test it out earlier on my face to see, and I compared it to my NYX Pore Filler. Now, on my unprimed prepped face, this did not do anything. This still, my pore filler still did a better job. So I'm still gonna give it a chance because I bought it at Target for $12.99, and we're gonna see if it works. I do like the texture of it, and I like the scent of it, and I like the way it feels on my skin. It feels cooling. But as far as like filling my pores like I did on that man on TikTok, it's not doing that for me. So another thing that I was hoping to accomplish during the month of May is getting my finances together. And that could be going better. Um, I know I said I wanted to pay, say $4,000 so I could pay off my car by $4,000 and then just owe $4,000. But y'all... That ain't going right either. I ain't saved nothing. The money that I did save, it literally evaporated into thin air. So, <sighs> we're starting over in that category, unfortunately. So, hopefully, moving forward in June, I can be better. I do have a plan. I thought I had a plan this month, but my plan didn't really pan out well. So, my plan moving forward is... I'm gonna have a designated credit card that I get to use for the month. That I'm gonna put all my money that I get to spend for the month on the card. So once that money is gone, that's all I have unless I go out and I make extra money somewhere. So I'm hoping that that works for me this um, upcoming month because I really need to get it together. So now we're about to do my eyes. I'm trying to decide what color. I'm using the Profusion Confidence Palette. Y'all know I love Profusion Palettes. Um, this one's like earth tones and some, yeah, I guess this would be earth. No, this is not earth tones. What is this? I don't know, child, but they're pretty tones. They're, they're pretty. So I don't know what I'm wearing tonight. I've used just about every color in this palette. So I'm trying to think of a look I can recreate, a new look I can do. I think I'm going to use... This benefit shade with the legendary, which is like a glittery olive color, and then benefit is like a what was this? Okay, so benefit is an olive color, and then legendary is a dark, shimmery green. Um, so yeah, we're gonna put benefit. All right, this is the eyeshadow look that we came up with. I think it's pretty. It's sultry yet also kind of neutral esque. So, so that's the update as far as my how my fast is going. So let's talk about the rest of my life. For other aspects of my fast, I was also going to be addressing my diet 
Um, so that's going actually really, really well. So I'm still doing my um, calorie deficit of 1,700 calories a day. I've been doing really good with that. I no longer have my daily Coca-Cola. I have replaced my daily Coca-Cola with um, a kombucha. I think in the previous, I think in my um, some video, I talked about uh, me and my kombuchas. So I drink the brand Health Aid, and they have so many flavors, like 13 flavors that I have found in uh, my one of my Whole Foods stores. Um, a lot there. I don't know, 13 flavors, it's about 10 of the flavors that I like, which is saying a lot for me because I'm kind of picky with fruits. Now, there's a lot of fruits that I won't eat, but I'll like drink like a, for example, a pomegranate flavored drink, but you won't catch me eating a pomegranate. So, I drink one a day instead of doing my Coca-Cola. I still do have a Coca-Cola twice a week on my Sunday cheat day, and then on Wednesday while I'm watching Meredith for a sight. Um, and then the other days, I'll drink my kombucha. So with my kombucha, they have a one, a flavor that's called ginger lemon. And for whatever reason, my body loves that ginger lemon. It gets things going for me. So I'll drink a ginger lemon every other day. And then on days I don't drink it, I'll drink one of the uh, flavors I like. They have one that's called strawberry glow. It literally tastes like strawberry puree, which funny enough, I don't like strawberry puree, but I like drinking it. It's quite interesting. And that's about all I have for my fast update. Quick update on this mascara. I believe I have this in my last Get Ready With Me. Um, I, so that means I've been using it for about a month or now, month or so now. I like it, but I'm realizing this hoe don't last that long. Um, I don't know if I use it too much. I do do my makeup about five to six times a week. So I guess I'm using it a lot. So I guess in that aspect, it only lasts you about a month. But as far as like the performance of the product, I'm happy with it. It's not better than my Maybelline push-up drama, but you know, it will do until I can find my push-up drama again. And then I was also watching TV and I saw that they have this product and then they have an amplifier. So then you put the amplifier on first and then you top it with this one. So since I already have this one, I figure I can try the amplifier as well to see if I can get the effects of my push-up drama Cause I was in Target today where I normally buy my push-up drama and they didn't have it. And I was like, OMG, I need my mascara back. Not much to report in the dating area, unfortunately. Have not been on a date since the last date that I shared with you guys. Um, I realized that the other day, I was like, wait a minute. I ain't been on a date recently. Like what's going on? So, the thing is, the last day that I did get offered, he, um, what did he do, y'all? I'm trying to remember. He, um, asked me what I was doing later, and I'm thinking in my mind, sir, didn't you ask to take me on a date? Why are you asking me what I'm doing? So that was like an automatic, I'm not going anywhere with you, sir, because clearly you want me to remember your plans. So that was the last date offer that I received, and I haven't met anyone new or got any other date offers since then, which is fine, you know. Hopefully my husband finds me soon, child, because I'm not gonna give up, but as the days tick on, I'm like, Jesus, where is my husband? <laughs> All right, so I put on, I put on the L'Oreal primer, and I'm not seeing the poor minimization that I saw on the man on TikTok. I'm letting it sit for a couple minutes to see if I get any action, but I ain't seeing nothing. Since it is Saturday, we are wearing um, full coverage foundation, or I think this is actually medium to full, but on me, it becomes like full. And I actually, I don't really use too much. I forgot to turn it upside down because I need, I need another roll. So here's some ASMR intermission. Is that really ASMR? Because it's so loud. I don't think that would be soothing. Effort to increase my chances of meeting my husband. I will be doing a solo date site talks about in a previous video. I've already picked out what I'm going to be doing for uh, June. Tink and Jacquees are going to be in concert here. I want to say it's in two weeks. It's like early June. So I'm going to be taking myself to that. Now, 
I will be weary if I meet a man at this concert, because I'm like, wait a minute. You can't be here alone at a RB concert. But I'm trying to be optimistic and see. But yeah, so I'm taking myself to the concert. And I may or may not do drinks before or after because it is on a Sunday. And y'all know me, my Sundays. Those are the days that I like to, you know, eat what I want to eat and do what I want to do. So I don't know if I want to be out and about trying to catch a man while I'm trying to eat and do what I want to do. Now, for whatever reason, I look orange on camera. But like I said, when I, if, uh, when I show y'all the end result, I always look amazing. Um, so now we're going to highlight my beautiful face. We're using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, this, I accidentally bought the wrong shade, but this shade actually works better for me. I like being like bright, bright under my eye, like my highlighted areas. So normally I was using medium beige, but when I went to go buy more, I couldn't remember what beige I was. So I accidentally got creamy beige, but it works. And I also changed the, um amount of product that I use. If you guys remember before from previous videos, I normally cover the whole area of my under eye. Now I'm trying the technique where you just do, you know, cute right here and then right there to, in a sense, lift the face up. So I've been trying that the pack for this week and I've been liking it. It's been turning out cute. I've been using less product. So I still, I go in first with the creamy beige, and then I follow that up right on top with a concealer that's closer to my shade, which from this brand is the shade Fawn. So if you're like a medium toffee almond cappuccino color like me, I think we're called like medium tan. That's what they be calling our shade uh, Fawn. Might be a good color to you, like a perfect match to your skin tone. So we're going to top the creamy base with the Fawn. Then we contour the nose, and just in case you are interested in how I contour my nose, I will give you another tutorial. Um, I use a angled fluffy brush, my Black Radiance Powder Contour Palette. I use the darkest shade, and with my angled fluffy brush from e.l.f., I go in and I contour from the corner of my eye down the center of my nose, and then also contour the nostrils of my nose. So let me do that and then show you what that looks like. I have done this tutorial in a past Get Ready With Me. So this is just a refresher, because in that one I actually like got on the camera and showed, oh, what is on my headband? And Jesus, man, I just got this. All right, this is what the contour looks like once I have it on. So as you can see, I took it from the corner of my eye down the center of my nose to kind of make my nose slimmer and then around the nostrils of my nose to also make it look more slimmer and pointed. I like a, a pointed tip and like a slim nose because from the side profile, my nose looks very slim, but I just have kind of like a little bit of bulbing going on on the tip of my nose, but this easily, um, but I can, easy, I can easily minimize how bulbous my nose looks and make it look more cute and pointy like a reindeer, like Rudolph by contouring. All right, my nose has been contoured. I highlighted it with the creamy beige and now we're gonna let this sit. And while this sits, guess what time it is? Yes, you guessed it, story time intermission. So for today's story time, I would like to tell the story of how I found out I was getting cheated on <gasps> by my boyfriend who at the time was incarcerated. Now, when I got him, he was not incarcerated. He became incarcerated at the end of our relationship. And fun fact, he's been hitting me up on Facebook, which to me is odd. But anyways, so some backstory. I met this man up in the club when people used to still meet people up in the club. It was more common because um, dating apps weren't really that popular like you were talked about if you were on a dating app. And that's when people were on blackpeoplemeet.com, Christian Mingle, something, something, something else, um, Black Planet. My sister used to love her some Black Planet. Black Planet. So I met this man up at the club. And fun fact, when I met him, I met three other people at the same time. And you know, normally, you know, dating is a numbers game. So even if you meet five people, who's to say that you're going to talk to these, continue to talk to these five people after you meet them? 
somehow by the chance of the Lord, I ended up going on dates with all of them, but only he like panned out. I guess I just liked him more. I don't know. Actually, I think one of them I found out had a, a newborn baby that he wasn't really hiding from me. I just never asked if he had kids. <laughs> so I guess that's something why I don't know if that's something on him. But met the man up in the up in the club. Um, and then like four months into us like hanging out or whatever, I don't do boyfriend girlfriend relationships. But with him, I was like, you know what? I want to make you my boyfriend. You can tell people I'm your girlfriend, whatever, you can say whatever you want. But I decided that we're gonna be together and not only are we gonna be together, you're gonna move in wow. with me. Yes, y'all. I was <laughs> When I, de when I decide that I'm going to be with someone, I'm going to be with them. Like, they're just going to have to accept it. And usually, they do. Usually, I don't get a lot of pushback. And they're like, oh, no. Except for one time. I'll tell you about that in my next um, story time intermission. So, moving together after, like, four months. Things are going pretty good. We have, you know, our ups and downs. But nothing serious to the point where I was like, I made a mistake, I wanna break up. So he moves in, I wanna say in like June or July. By like the end of the year, we were just having like problems. We were having a lot of communication problems. Um, the way we communicated was not the same. He felt that he needed to yell to get his point across. And I felt like we could talk like this to get my point across. I don't need to insult you. I don't need to name call you. He felt like his point wasn't getting across unless I cried and hurt my feelings. If I wasn't crying, then his point wasn't received. I don't work that way. So when that all started happening, I had decided, I was like, you know what? This ain't for me. I don't, <laughs> don't want to be here anymore. So, cause you like when you're in a situation with someone, you're living with them, it's harder to leave. So I had to let him know like, hey, I, this isn't what I want anymore. I don't want, don't want to do this anymore. So this goes on for months and months and months. He's not willing to accept the fact that I don't want to be with him anymore and that he needs to move out. But he's telling everyone, he's like, hey, Cherry told me she don't want to be with me no more, blah, blah, blah. But I'm not moving out because we're going to work it out. All the while, I'm not speaking to him at, at this point. Like, I'm literally not speaking to him. <laughs> He'll come in the house and... I wouldn't look at him because, sir, I told you to get out. Like, what, what are you still doing here? So, um, that was going on for like two months. And then, unfortunately for me, my dad passed away. So, when my dad passed away, I kind of like was just reaching out for him. And he was, you know, receptive to that. So, had my daddy not died, I, I still wouldn't have talked to him until he moved out. Well, until he went to jail, rather. So, my dad passed away in uh, late July. So, come up, you know, around that time, I'm being nicer to him. He's being nicer to me. But still, in my mind, I'm like, yeah, this is not the person for me. This is not who I want to be with. Um, before my dad died, I wasn't sure if I wanted that. I wasn't sure if I wanted to be married. I wasn't sure if I could even be monogamous and be faithful because... I had yet to meet anyone that I was getting everything that I felt like I wanted, like every, like 80% of what I felt like I wanted, because you know, you don't get 100% of what you need, you get 80%. I had never gotten 80%, so I was like, man, I don't want to get married and then turn out to be a cheater, like, I don't want to disgrace myself. So, uh, when my dad died, I had like an awakening. Not only was the kid getting married, the kid was going to have kids. Two of them, twins, Clark and Kent. <laughs> so after I figured that out, I knew I wasn't doing it with, with boyfriend because I had already told him to leave and he hadn't left yet. So that was in July, August. Time goes by. We're speaking. We're, we're you know, we're okay. Like, we're okay. We're not like having, well, were we? We might have been having issues but it wasn't like how it had been when, when I had stopped speaking to him so fast forward to December I'm hanging out at home minding my business and I get a phone call from his brother and his brother's like yo boyfriend is in jail and I'm like uh excuse me come find out y'all why was boyfriend a fugitive 
Woo! He was on the run from a case that he caught some years prior in Ohio. Now, I knew about this case because I don't look down on people who have had run-ins with the law. Things happen. I could have had a run-in with the law and been, been in the same circumstance. So I don't pass judgment on those who have had run-ins with the law and are now mi misdemeanors, felons, what have you. Boyfriend did what he did, got caught up, had some cases, had some charges. I thought that was rectified. He told me that that was rectified. Come on, it was not. He was on the run from the law from Ohio. Not only was he from on the run in Ohio, he was on the run from like three other warrants in Indiana, like other little random like counties. So the reason why he got locked up had nothing to do with those issues, but that's why he stayed locked up because of those issues. So a light bulb went off in my mind. I'm like, this might be my chance to get away. Cause although we have been getting along, this still was not the person that I was gonna marry. I'm still dumping you. Jesus basically just handed me a reason to get up and go. And not only did Jesus hand me a reason to get up and go, his mama told me, pack his stuff, drop it off at his brother's house, and don't speak to him again. I said, say less. I will. So, um, that's what I did. I packed up his stuff, gave it to his brother. His brother and I chit-chatted for a little bit. And bygones be bygones. Never had a problem with his brother. Never had a problem with uh, boyfriend's family. Boyfriend's family were very nice people. So... Since boyfriend's in jail, we're communicating, but we're only communicating if he puts money on my phone. I tell him, I don't want you, so I'm not spending my money to talk to you. If you want to talk to me, put money on this phone. So when he went away initially, when he initially got arrested, I came and picked up his personal belongings. Inside the personal belongings was a cell phone that I purchased. So because I purchased it, I have the right to go, to go through the phone. I was gonna give that phone to my mom since I didn't know when boyfriend was coming out, so my mama needed a phone. So like any normal person, I go to the phone, y'all. Why is this phone, this man, is talking to multiple women? Not one, not two, not three, not four. I believe it was five or six different women. And not only was he key, key, key with these women, he's getting money from these women. These women are taking him on dates. One woman was offering to move him in with her. And I'm just like, this fool was cheating on me. And I didn't even notice. Like, what? Wow. what is going on? So not only was he talking to multiple women inside this phone that I bought, we had a, um, a landline in our house. This man is talking to one particular woman on the phone in the house while I'm in the house. Y'all, I said, oh no, honey, this is not what we do. So I had already decided that I'm leaving him. This was just a nail in the coffin because he didn't agree with me wanting to leave him just because I wanted to leave. He felt like he needed to have done something to me first. So when I found out that he was cheating on me, I said, okay, here you go, sir. Here's your reason. This is this right here is why I'm leaving you. You cheated on me with her, 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 and her. Case closed. He still was like, no, I ain't cheating on you with them. I needed money from them to give to you. Sir, I don't know. I don't care what you were doing. You still cheated on me. So <laughs> after he accepted that, you know, case closed, we're done. Bye-bye. We parted ways. We have already really parted ways because, you know, he he's, he's locked up. There's nothing that he can really do. So, and I wasn't putting money on my phone to talk to him. And when the, what, the main woman who was giving him money found out about me, she stopped putting money on the phone too. So he stopped calling me. Then he started writing letters. Shout out, I'm not going to read your letters like a mess. So... That concludes my story time intermission of how the kid got cheated on. I got cheated on twice. That was the second time with the second, but the first time I got cheated on was my very first boyfriend. So let me know in the comments if you want to hear about the first time I got cheated on and knowing that he was cheating on me with this. Okay, how should I say it? I knew this woman, his friend, was interested in him. He was in denial because he wanted to keep this woman around because she did things for him, like helping him out, doing the things that I would do because, sir, I'm not married to you. I'm not cooking for you, not driving you around, not giving you money. No, that's what you do for me. So anyways, he found someone to do the things that I wouldn't do because we weren't married. 
So let me know in the comments if you want to hear that story. So now that we have set and our concealer has dried down some, let's blend it out. First impression of this Wet n Wild Translucent Powder, I really like it. It is setting into my liquid so well. I have on the foundation. Well, I have on the foundation and then some e.l.f. Halo Glow. And then on top of that is the concealer. And it is sitting so beautifully. After I have done my setting powder, I like to go in and dust off any excess powder. Because I, I put it on, I applied it with my little fluffy brush. Then I follow it up with my powder puff, which I've been loving these powder puffs. I got them from Amazon. I think they're viral on TikTok. And I got six for, I'm pretty sure, $10. I highly recommend. I am planning to do a Amazon things here soon. I get a lot of cool things from Amazon. A lot of things that I see go viral on TikTok. Haven't seen anything lately because I don't know I've been off of TikTok, but I have made a lot of purchases based off of recommendations that I've seen on TikTok. And TikTok has only led me astray one time with one product, and it was an ad. It's that lip gloss. I'm trying to like the lip gloss, y'all. It's just not, I don't like it. And I'm mad at the ad. Right. Time to bronze up the face. I use my Black Radiant Powder Palette. And I do an upward angle to help warm my face back up. Now, when I use my foundation and I mix it with the e.l.f. Halo Go, it's like a perfect skin match. So, I'm already warm looking. This just gives me some dimension to my face. And I do it right here to give me a lifted snatch. Instead of going this way, I go upward. Learn that from TikTok and it actually does make a difference to make you look more alien-like, which is what I'm going for. I want to look terrestrial. Is it anti-terrestrial or terrestrial? I think it's not, I don't know y'all. Let me know in the comments if you know, if you know what, what I'm trying to say. I think it's terrestrial. Cause you know what, when they talk about aliens, I think it's terrestrial or whatever it is. Then we just do right here. A little bit down to the jawline. I don't do my jawline anymore. I used to, but it was never blending right, so I just stopped doing it. After we do that, we go in with our e.l.f. Uh, Total Face Brush. It's just a fluffy uh, flat top brush to blend my bronzer in with my face. Now time for the finishing touches, which is our highlight, our blush, and our cheek highlight, well, our nose highlight, highlight our cupid bow, and this. Here lately, I've been really into peachy reddish, peachy pink blush. So I think we're going to do peachy, like a peachy, uh, what is this? Like a dark rose. So we're gonna do this peach color and this color. This is my e.l.f. blush palette. I'm pretty sure they still make this palette. I've had this palette for a decade, and as y'all can see, my pans are basically still full. So I'm going to rock with this hoochie until her pans are empty. Let's top us off with Elf Stay All Day Blue Light Micro Setting Spray. I'm out of my other two setting sprays that I've been using, my Maybelline Lasting Fix and the Morphe one. On our next vlog, we're going to go to Sephora and get us the one size, um... Setting spray, they have a setting spray, then they also have a melt-off spray that I want to try. And hopefully they come in mini cans, because I'm not trying to give Patrick Star all my money, just in case I don't like his product. I would like to mention, that Wet n Wild powder is amazing. Even with my CoverGirl powder, I'll still, I have the dry under eye I've talked about. I'll get like the creasing. I'm getting no creasing with this powder. And I'm pretty sure it was a little under $7. I got it at Target. And you get a lot. I got this big giant container. This stuff is really good. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I got it in the shade Translucent. And I really like this. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And check out this video next because YouTube picked it just for you.